Hi. Welcome to Love and Forever Evolving, where we are always and forever evolving. Hello, Libra. Welcome back, my loves. Welcome to your love reading. I hope all has been well, Libra. I hope you've been taking care of yourselves, eating plenty of fruit and vegetables, and taking care of that beautiful, sexy temple of yours, Libras, as it take care of you, my loves. Welcome back. Come on in. Have a seat. All right. I hope everyone has been doing well, Libra. Shout out to the beautiful soul family and the soul tribe. I appreciate each and every one of you all. And thank you for allowing me to assist you all a part of your spiritual journeys right along here with me as well. Thank you so much, soul family. And welcome, Libra, to the ones that are new here. Thank you all so much for tuning in today. Definitely, if today's content fulfills your spirit, don't forget to hit that big fat thumbs up. All right, show my guardian angels and ancestors some love for the deliverance of the messages here today. And welcome, subscribe. We would love to have you, Libra, a part of our soul family here as well. And be sure to adjust your notification bells for when I go live on this platform. All right, I do go live throughout the week for all Zodiac sign readings. If you would love to stop by and get a check in there before you get your day started. I also go live for love live stream questions as well. If you have a question for Tara, that you would love assistance from me, my higher self, and my angels. We will be happy to assist you. So definitely set your notification bell so you don't miss out on any content that I post here on this channel, all right? So no further ado, Libra, we're going to go ahead and dive into your love messages here today. Today's focus is your next move, Libra, all right? We're going to see what suggestions your guardian angels have for you for your next move for the month of November here. And then, of course, we're going to dive into some tarot. Yes, we're going to see what's going on in tarot land. And we're going to see about the person that is on your mind. Yes, we're going to get to the good stuff. We're going to see how do they feel about you? What are their next moves, Libra, towards you as well? All right. And then, of course, we're going to close out with my raw, famous tarot, tarot index cards here. And we're going to see what actions does this person want to take towards you as well. All right. And shout out to the OnlyFans page. If you're new here, definitely come on over to the OnlyFans page is where I utilize more of my index cards, where I do energy check-ins for all the Zodiac signs that I post here on YouTube. So you be the first one you become a part of the OnlyFans page to get all the insight and details for the readings before I actually post a full reading here on YouTube, okay? That is also available for Patreon members as well, where you also get the full readings a day in advance on top of the energy check-ins as well, all right? So definitely if that's something that you're interested in, we would love to have you again here, part of our soul family. That link is on the About Me tab, the homepage as well, all right? So no further ado, Libra, let's go ahead and dive in. Wow, we have asked for a response, okay? So you are in the space right now. Some of y'all could be feel like you're seeking for answers. You're seeking for the truth. You're wanting clarity here for a situation or a circumstance. Rad, this is regarding a romantic partner. Rad, this is a particular place of event or if this is a particular thing that you're wanting to manifest here and you're asking or seeking for information for clarity here. So your guardian angels and your ancestors here want you to know regarding your next move for the month of November is to ask for a response. Don't be afraid to pray, speak this out and ask for synchronicities in return to give you Libra confirmation on the situation here. So for an example, this could be you and your romantic partner. You may have questions about this person. Uh, you may have concern about this connection that you are having here with this person and you are wanting to seek for clarity and answers. And your guardian angels is asking you to just speak it out and ask, pray about it so you can get the responses that you're asking for, okay? Wow, I love that message coming from your guardian angels there. So let's now dive into to tarot here okay let's see about the person here that is on your mind and what are their next moves towards you for the month of november 
Wow, we have here three of swords, okay? Three of swords here. So this is air element here as well. This person here that you are exchanging energies with Libra regarding the person on your mind could also be an air sign like yourself. They could be a Gemini here, okay? Or they could be Aquarius, the person that's on your mind or a Libra like yourself, okay? But this tells me that whatever your person had experienced here in their past, They've now decided to put that to an end and they are aware of the situation and circumstance and the view of it right now. And it's what I feel like has gotten this person up out this bed and has allowed this person to move forward. Okay, so this person here that you may have exchanged energies with, you may or again concerned and seeking these answers here because of this person may have a certain behavior pattern that you may be noticing about this person or maybe how the way this person respond to you or go about doing things in the connection or relationship here that may give you concerns and this could be due to their past here with the three of swords this could have been involving a third party situation that your person was in here or something here that has caused this person to react out maybe when it has come to the relationship or a connection here with you because this is in the position of the past energy because this is a present and this is the future so let's see how this is all taking place now that we know kind of a background history of the person that is on your mind libra and them being in a situation here that has broken their heart or put them in a situation where they're now healing from this situation or circumstance from their past. Wow, yeah, look at that. We got the two of cups here. Now, this is water elements here, Libra. This could be a Cancer, a Pisces, or a Scorpio here that you all are connecting here with, okay? And I feel like, honestly, with the energy that I'm picking up here, this person feels so happy and or at peace when they are around you, Libra, especially coming from this type of situation or circumstance here from their past. They see such new positive energy with this sun here beaming in the background with you. They definitely feel a more spiritual, loving connection here with you rather than the energy or space that they were in in the relationships from their past. So it's like as if you give this person hope that, you know, love still does exist and genuine love at that as well, okay? So this is someone that is definitely seeing you in the space of being happy, being loved, and feeling at peace at this time. Wow, Libra, I love how this person just view you as a person and an individual here. This is beautiful. So let's definitely see where this is going to go here in the future, okay? Again, definitely if the reading so far is fulfilling or resonating for you, Libra, if it's definitely giving you insight here regarding what you may have even already intuitively been feeling here about this person, again, hit that big fat thumbs up, all right? Show my guardian angels some love, all right? They would truly appreciate appreciate it as just as myself okay and again if you would love to book a personal reading libra my email details is down below if this is resonating for you so far i would love to pick off where this reading here is going to end if you would love to book a personal reading regarding this situation and needing to find answers regarding this person's situation or circumstance and most importantly of how they are truly feeling towards you because we already have the two of cups here as well so we could definitely see see what the future outcome and potential outcome for love and romance for you in the future ones booking a personal reading okay so let's now see what the future holds here and again we're going to utilize my index cards here to see what action here is this person plan on taking towards you libra all right let's see Wow, we have the Four of Cups here. Now, this is Water Element here as well. Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio for some of y'all that is exchanging energy again with the water sign. Um, the Four of Cups talks about, as you can just see, the pictures already say a thousand words, right? <laughs> okay, this is someone that could be a little frustrated, all right? And this person may be in and out. I feel like when it comes to their emotions and feelings here with you, Libra, because it's like one minute this person is still reflecting on their past situations where they've been hurt from their ex or in the past and then one minute they're so happy to be around you they're so delightful and feel at completion when they are around you and then the next minute they get back into this sorrow feeling and 
feeling of hurt and disappointment and even regrets because of the situations here where these cups were led to be empty and not being fulfilled, okay? So this sounds like that this person is still trying to heal from past trauma when it came to being involved in a relationship with someone from their past that honestly really hurt this person here. So this is why I feel like some of y'all maybe have questions and you may have concerns because this person is one minute they're this way with you and then the next minute they're not. And so it confuses and I feel like it even frustrates you sometimes, Libra, because of this person's energy. Some days could be off balance, okay? And the reason for that here is what I'm just picking up intuitively is because they're still hurt. And sometimes when someone is still hurt, Hurt people can hurt people, all right? Hurt people can hurt other people in situations, especially when they're not healed completely or have moved past a loss of a relationship here, okay? So that is something to be mindful of. I do not see this person being 100% emotionally available to you at times because of them still trying to hear from this situation. Even though there's another cup here that I feel like you, Libra, may have tried to offer this person a full cup here, but again, they're still pondering and still trying to figure out why these cups or experiences have put them in the space that they're in now, all right? And so some are not even wanting to move forward because they may be in fear that this here from their past will happen again, all right? And so it's like trying to give this person reinsurance, I feel like, of you, Libra, may even cause you to be frustrated because it's like you may keep trying to show this person that, look, hey, I am not the people from your past. I do not want to put you in that position or treat you that way. And I feel like, you know, you do everything that you could do, but I feel like they may still be in that space of not trying to see past what has happened during their past, okay? So that could definitely frustrate you when you're trying to bring peace to this situation for this person okay wow libra what a detailed message here so far for you again definitely don't forget to like subscribe if you're new here welcome welcome all right and let's now close out and use again my raw tarot index cards let's see now that we know kind of the background history of this person and what took place here in their past Let's see what future actions here with my index cards that this person is going to take with the connection with you, okay? What do we have here, Garden Angels? What does this person here want to say? Wow, look at that. You are the one. So even though this person gets in their feels about their past and situations that took place here, they do see you, Libra, as the one. They know that this experience that they have had so far here with you has not been nothing like their past experiences with women or men in their past here, all right? And we have here, if I could go back and change time, I'm sure this person certainly would. And that's that energy again. You notice how one car is a reflection of their past. And then you notice how this card here is a reflection of the future that they have with you. This is just more confirmation for me as a reader to just show you, Libra, that this person is still going back and forward in their head, back and forward with their emotions, and back and forward with this connection with you because they're still trying to heal from this situation from the past, okay? Because one minute they're like, man, I wish I didn't experience it or go through that situation then man libra is so the one for me right you can just kind of see it in the energies from the cards here that are coming out okay so let's see what else do we have here let's see what else is coming out regarding how this person here feels towards you wow definitely again if the reading so far is resonating please show some love and hit that like button okay this is a good message here wow look at that i will admit to it okay we are supposed to be together. So this person is slowly but surely, I feel like coming around, all right? It is going to take some patience, Libra, with this person because, again, this is not something that is going to happen overnight. Now, you do have your free will and your choice, okay? Um, because I feel like some of you are, are much on a higher frequency vibration than this person here is right now because they're still going through a healing phase. So 
if you're willingly to be patient and wait on this person, that's absolutely fine. That's your business. If you know what you are deserving of and what you're ready for now, and there is a lot of other individuals that are available as well, okay? But this is just what is going on here internally and personally with this person here but they do feel like that you two are supposed to be together that's the energy of going back to it and seeing that you are the one that they want to be with and i feel like this person is also wanting to admit to you of why they may have been having the behavior patterns that they have been having in this connection with you so far okay Wow, Libras. I'm going to leave this portion of the reading here so it doesn't get too farther out scattered, okay? But again, definitely if the message here is fulfilling, it definitely gave you some insight and confirmation. Again, don't forget to hit that big fat thumbs up. If you're new, subscribe. We would love to have you here, part of our soul family. And again, if you love, okay, the index cards here, again, come on over to the OnlyFans page where I do energy check-ins for all the Zodiac signs, again, that I post here on YouTube. So you be the first to kind of get a feel of what the reading is going to be about just for an example of this reading today the only fans have already gotten an energy check-in yesterday regarding the reading here today with utilizing the index cards here okay and that's only five dollars and 55 cents a month for over 30 days worth of daily content there as well and if you would love your four readings a day in advance definitely come on over to patreon where you do have access to the four readings a day in advance and you also also get the energy check-ins that I provide for the OnlyFans page as well, right along with free questions, discount on personal readings, so much over there to help assist you in your relationships and most importantly, to evolve, Libra, all right? So thank you so much again for tuning in today, Libras, and thank you so, Tribe Soul family. I appreciate you, and I definitely look forward to your next love messages, Libra. You all take care, and I wish you the best with this situation, Libras. Mwah! Bye-bye.